I've got sort of six ways on how to actually reduce lag and make it a lot more faster. So I know you hate it just as much as I when Illustrator crashes. It's annoying, right? But it also can lag sometimes, especially when you're working on very large vector artwork. So number one is you wanna delete unused assets, which will be brushes, styles, and swatches. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your window panel in the top left corner, and you wanna go down to your brushes panel. All the main windows that I mentioned, you can actually open them in the window section and click on it and it should open it. What you're going to do is actually click on the hamburger menu. So on the right top corner, you'll see a three lines. You wanna click on that. And this basically is the same for every other menu that you use. So you wanna click that. Then what you wanna do is click select all unused. This is gonna select every brush or thing that you're not using in this actual document, right? So we can select that. Then what you wanna do is click the little bin icon down the bottom and it's going to ask you, do you wanna delete this brush selection? Then click yes. And then boom, just like that, we've deleted that. And the reason why we're gonna delete all these little things is because it reduces the amount of memory or data usage that the, ca the computer has to utilize to be able to store that information in that document or in that app, right? So this is why we do these things. Next, we've got symbols. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Hamburger menu, select all unused and click the bin and then boom, click yes, delete symbols. We don't need symbols right now. What you also wanna do is go to graphic styles, do the same thing, we wanna delete those. And as we're doing this, we're literally reducing the file size as well. So if you are someone that likes working with small files and you gotta send it to clients, this is gonna reduce the overall file size for your Illustrator file. What we wanna do next is do the swatches. So default swatches are always like, it's like a spam thing, man. Like. Look at all these, we didn't even use this. It's just like rubbish colors. Anyway, you click the, do the same thing, select all unused and then click the bin and then click yes. And that should get rid of all the colors that I'm not using. You can see these colors that I'm using um, right now. You can see this example of the king. That's gonna stay in my swatches. That's totally fine. We can leave that in there. Boom. All right, awesome. So another cool thing as well is when it, actually upgrade your RAM. So if you can increase your RAM on your computer, I'm using 32 gigabytes of Vengeance RAM and basically it gives me a lot of memory to use so I can use Premiere, Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator all at once if I want. Um, and it just makes the process um, and it speeds everything up a lot better. You also want to go to your preferences panel. So if I press Control K and actually what we wanna do now is go to our performance section menu. So what I'm gonna do is click on performance and what you wanna do is actually, if you do not have a compatible or good GPU, you wanna turn GPU performance off because sometimes that can actually um, make it worse. Majority of the time, the newer models actually increase the speed, but one thing to tick off is animated zoom. So you can see this button, animated zoom. That's basically when you're scrolling and zooming into you know, very you know, small sizes to like work on a path or a shape this um, makes the smoother the zoom in a lot smoother but you want to turn that off because sometimes it actually glitches and it actually slows everything down another thing to do as well is you want to turn off real-time drawing and editing make sure that is turned off that's going to boost performance and then also go to the other menu and you can see the undo counts I can drop that down to 50 because every time you press Control Z you're literally undoing memory you're undoing something from the file so if you decrease that, it's not going to store as much information, which is going to increase performance as well. So you can change it to 50 or leave it. I'm going to leave it on 100 because that works for me. Next would be changing how the program handles files. So I'm going to click on file handling. It's a below performance. And what you want to do is you can see all these information. You've got file save as, save as option, right? So typically it automatically saves to the cloud. You want to tick that off because you don't want it to be constantly saving while you're working. Another thing as well to turn off if you don't want to save um, is turn off saving background. Um, this is going to make sure that it's not saving whilst you're working. But the, the issue is you have to remind yourself, oh, I've got to, I've got to save this file manually. So control S every like 10 minutes, make sure you're doing that. Um, another one to turn off is probably turn off um, data recovery. Um, but I'd probably leave that on because it's, you know, it's a big deal. So you want to make sure that's on. Um, 
and then automatically save recovery data. You can change it to like an hour uh, if you want. Uh, I typically just leave it off because I use a third party app by Astute Graphics, which saves automatically. Then when you want to go down to files and you want to use low resolution proxies, which is good, makes EPSs a lot faster when opening. Um, they've got this new optimization. I don't really use that at the moment. I just think it's fine. And then I've got display bitmaps as anti-analyze images in pixel preview. So that's my file handling options and using this has really sped me up. The next thing you wanna do is actually uninstall as many fonts as you can. So whatever fonts you're not using. So for example, I've got my characters here. And if I look at my font menu, I've got like so many different fonts, right? So the more fonts you have, it's gonna lag you out, right? Um, this is interesting. You can also increase the size to make it bigger. If you do smaller, it's going to show more fonts. It might lag you a little bit. I just keep it on medium for now. Another cool thing is you can go to type and also, you know, go fonts. And you can see how that lagged when you open that menu. That's showing that you've got a lot of fonts. So I'd use Nexus font for me to delete that. I've talked about it in another video, but if you, whatever font management software you have, make sure you go in there, clean up your fonts you're not using, you know, do a checkup every like three, six months and delete the unwanted fonts you don't want. So I'm gonna drop that back right that. Then lastly, the last tip I have is to delete unnecessary points and vectors. So what I mean by that is if I go to this illustration that I downloaded from Vexels, you can check Vexels out down in the description below. But if I press Control Y and go to outline mode, you can see it's got a lot of vector points, a lot of little shapes here and a lot of little things. If I zoom in here, you can see there's some points, right? So there's some extra points that shouldn't be there. And for this educational purpose, I've, I've added them in, but when you have something complex, it's going to have a lot of points. So what you can actually do is just start to delete them. So select them, press delete, delete unwanted lines. So maybe you don't need these details there. Um, I can select that, delete that. But sometimes I've got a faster way to do this is I've got an app from Astute Graphics. It's, they're not sponsoring this video, but I think it's really helpful. So I think it's Vector, Vector First Aid. So in this tool, what I can actually do is I can find points and you know groups or clipping masks in my file right so i can do a scan so i can check selection that's a straight point if i of, like i can click an object and check selection or i can just click off everything um i can delete the background there and i can click check document it's going to scan my document and you can see now how many points and um unused swatches and other things is found and then what i can do is just click fix all and that's it bam the dirt is gone so it it basically gets rid of all those points in the handle so you can see if i press ctrl y it got rid of all those little points um it should have got rid of that one but sometimes it's it's like ai so sometimes it doesn't get everything but it seems that it cleaned up all those other little anchor points and that's just another good way to you know make your files thinner smaller and just a lot better um but that's that's basically how you do it and one more little tip as well is if you have a layer and you've got objects, what you can do is you can put that object on a new layer, I'll call it 3D. And you know, it's good to keep separate layers because then I can just turn it off and on. So if I'm working maybe just with typography and putting content, then I can turn off my layers and that's gonna just make the loading times a bit less tighter. So thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed these tips and tricks on how to speed up your Illustrator program because I use it every day and I need to make sure that it's super, super fast. But remember to smash the like button and hit subscribe to get more design and branding content and tutorials every day. I mean, every week. <laughs> and, um, and I look forward to seeing you grow. Thanks so much for watching. I'll chat to you in the next video.